Welcome back to the garage. We have a one hour window today to make some noise. I've switched out the needle to a th slightly thinner one. I've also sanded it a bit at the straight section. We'll see if it uh, runs, if the flat spot uh, down low is gone. And if it is, we'll start playing with the ignition and see if we can get some serious power here. I'm all sweat from uh, trying to start it. It uh, when it gets a bit warmer, it's uh, it's really troublesome. And if you got it started, but it stalls on you, then it floods. And uh, not weird actually, because I filled this bottle almost full when I started testing today. And I've just done one run and some revving uh, in neutral. And that's the fuel consumption. Just insane. But anyways, with the new needle, we are clocking in 17 horsepower at the wheel. That's almost two horsepower over the best on gasoline. Uh, this is just from one run, so might be some slight variations there. But I think it's safe to start playing with the ignition. So I'm going to increase the advance by two degrees. Uh, around peak and see what happens. I'll have to abort the mission today. Uh, though we've got good results, 17 horsepower, that's Almost one horsepower more than last time, just with uh, a different needle. What has happened is that the rotary valve is not following the crank anymore. So something has gone wrong there. Something has sheared off or it uh, the grub screws doesn't hold onto the crank anymore or something like that. So I'll, I'll have to disassemble and look into it. No biggie really. The, um, the screw had just worked its way out, so the valve didn't um, follow the crank anymore. But the, the rotary valve itself, the disc, is destroyed. It has developed uh, some cracks and there's also a little piece missing here. That piece is nowhere to be found, but there is some evidence of it rumbling around in here. So. But it seems that everything else has uh, survived, so um, yeah, I'll just have to get a new valve and attach this thing again, and we're good to go. Three days has gone by, and I've uh, given it some thought, and the needle cannot be the cause of the increase in power, because the straight section on the needle has nothing to do with wide open throttle. It's not like, not like with the circuits, the different circuits in the car that bleed over and into each other. The straight section of the needle is far above the needle jet when you're at wide open throttle. I have a theory. The rotary valve has come loose from the crank before and um, last time it was able to shift uh, about 30 degrees in either direction and it made no difference. And I fixed it, no change at all. It, the engine acted just as if uh, nothing had happened. So it didn't react to the large timing 
change. This time when I tear it down the valve was stuck shut and that's why it wouldn't start. But I have a suspicion that it was stuck open or maybe half open when the bike was running. And it didn't really make a difference except for that the bike made 17 horsepower versus 16.3 last time. So this has me thinking that maybe the pipe and the crankcase volume and the inlet length and diameter it could be about perfect for a wide open uh, inlet with no valve at all. So the resonance and all the relations between the case and the intake and the pipe is good enough for or is <laughs> tailored or whatever to uh, this kind of system. Uh, like Fritz over Mars calls it, uh, a 24-7 uh, intake, always open. So um, that's what I'm going to try. So I've I've assembled the valve cover, but I left the valve out of it. I'm going to use this thing, which is just a piece of uh, PVC tubing with the reed valve attached to it. I'm going to use that and try to see if this can help me start the bike. I will try without it first though, and who knows, maybe it can start um, without the valve too. Uh, I have started bikes with um, pretty severe crankcase um, leaks, so who knows? But I can't try today because, um, or tonight I should say, because it's late and noise and you know the drill. So, but next video we will try with a 24-7 always open intake. Could be heaps of power ahead, could not work at all, who knows, we'll just have to see. So, another experiment, in this experiment, which is in another experiment. So, if you came here for a consistent project that with a consistent timeline and results and conclusions, yeah, maybe not the channel. <laughs> yeah, I think it will be fun, and that's the point. Interesting and fun. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.